Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to work with the curved text. So we're going to take a tile and create like a monogram. Um, I'm going to take my cousin's wedding once again. We're going to, I'm going to take hers and her husband's name and um, I'm going to put the, weight, the date of the wedding and then put their initial in the center. And then we're going to put that onto a tile today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm super excited about this curved text. A uh, huge shout out to the Cricut Design team. Um, this curved text is super easy to use. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to come over here is to the text. You're going to click it like normal and we're going to type in. So I'm going to type in Alicia and Colton. And then I'm going to put in March 18th, 2018. Okay, then I'm going to come up here and I have it on Cricut Classic because that's what I like for this. You can do whatever font you want to. Then you're going to come over here where it shows the curved text. So you're going to click it. So there's two ways that you could go with this. If you went this way, it's just going to kind of curve. Let me bring this out so you guys can see what we're doing. All right, so you're going to come click on this curved area right here. So if you bring it to the right, it's going to curve. You can curve it in this direction or you can curve it this way and have it curve in this direction. So whichever way that you want to do it, all right, so the, the one that we're going to do today is I'm actually going to curve it in this direction. So we're going to come back this way. And let me bring this down so we can see. All right, so I'm going to grab it and bring it down just like that. So you can do it just as however you want to, and then you're going to make the size of whatever you want to do. So let me bring this back up like this to normal 100%. All right, and I'm going to drag this back over here. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to, I already measured what I needed, and I'm going to need this four and a half. So I'm going to bring this down to four and a half. So we're going to come down to four and a half. So I just came to about 4.5, just like that, 449, something like that, about 4.5, somewhere right there. So then I'm going to grab it. Let me move it over here so you guys can see. So this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to add an initial in the center, and I would just come over here, take another piece of text. I'm going to put an R, and I'm going to come in the center just like this. And then I'm going to just bring it into the size that I want it. So say that I like it just like that. I don't have to have worry about having it centered unless you're going to cut this all out one color. So if you want to cut this all out of the same color, what I would do is just select. And then I would come up here to align. And let's see, we would center, let's see, vertically, just like that. So you'd hit align and you would center vertically. So then it would be, let me see. Let me select it all again and let me align hors center horizontally okay so I centered horizontally and vertically so it's completely centered that way if you want to cut this out in one color but I'm going to do mine in two colors so this one right here is going to be a silver so I'm just going to come over here and change it to a silver so this is going to cut out separately so if I go to make it you'll see that the R is going to cut out separately, and then this is going to be just like this. So you'll, I'm going to show you once we cut this out what I'm going to do with the extra for the center here. So that's, ex that's all you've got to do, just like that, and our project is ready to go. So you see how easy it is to use this curved text. So, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. Let's see if I said Alicia and Colton, you singer, just like that. All right, I could come back up here to the curved text and I could curve this all the way around. If you wanted to just do a half curve, you know, you would just curve it however you want to. So you could do, like I said, it's like a half curve. You could bring it around like this. You can completely bring this all the way around. It doesn't matter how long it is. So you can come in either direction. I just love it. So we haven't played too much with the advanced, but we'll do that in another video. I just wanted to show you a project. So um, let's go ahead and get this on our tile. So now that we've already got everything cut out, so this is how I'm going to do this. I did mine in two separate colors. So I'm going to just weed out. Now this right here, this uh, silver glitter is from... Um, expressions vinyl i'll have that link down below what i love about this one is it's not you can cut it with like regular vinyl and um, the glitter is like melted into and i don't know if you guys can pick that up or not it's melted into the paper the vinyl so it's not like pokey or anything like that um real rough so it's just like normal vinyl 
Um, I did get this like in one of those, they have like these $5 grad bags on Wednesdays. Um, and you have to catch them pretty quickly. But anyways, um, I had got this in a grab bag and I just love it. So you can see that it's just like regular vinyl, but it's, it's glitter. So it's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and weed that one out. All right. And then easy peasy. Now you could have cut all this out together. So I wanted to go ahead and wait to weed it because I wanted to show you how I'm going to weed it because you have this big center. You can save this. So my plan is I want to try to save that little, that round circle in the, in the middle because it is quite big. Now you don't have to. So what I'm going to do is just take my pair of scissors here with a sharp point and get it down in there. And I'm going to just go ahead and go all the way around here. Just like this, making sure I'm not cutting any letters just to kind of save a little piece like this. All right, so now we have, we are left with this. So let's go ahead and weed it so I can show you how you would weed your circle text like this if you haven't already done it before. So just like that. Now this one right here is Oracle 651. It's also from Expressions Vinyl. These are some that I had from that grab bag and I just had them so I'm using these. to pull all of this off just like that okay so I don't think I've pulled off any little letters or anything so now you're left with this right here you could save this if you wanted to do it like a stencil or anything like that so I'm going to hold on to it just for a second just in case I decide to because you can see that H piece is still attached and things so what I do is I just take the corner of this and just kind of put it on, on the edge of my table so it holds it until I can decide if I want to keep it or throw it away because that would be a great stencil for doing um with the acrylic paint. So we may use that for another project. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to weed these out. Now I don't have to do this on camera because um, you know, you guys pretty much got the gist of the weeding out of these little pieces, but that's what you have left once you have all those pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed these out. And, uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna talk about the tile really quick. So I went to Lowe's and picked these up. Uh, with these tiles right here, they come with, it says made in Italy. It comes with um, a little scanner. So I just found the ones to make sure they have the scanner so they can scan up front. Um, and that is the name of this one, just in case anybody is curious, this is from um, Lowe's. And like, so it says nine, they were 98 cents. Well, I was thinking each, I wasn't even thinking, but it's 98 cents per square foot. So these were only 28 cents a piece. So can't beat it, 28 cents. And then you got a few cents in vinyl. So you got less than a buck for, um, to do a project for a gift. This is going to be, um, a housewarming gift for my cousin. So I'm going to go ahead and just weed this and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have this all weeded out. So what I'm gonna use to transfer is I like to go to the Dollar Tree and purchase um, contact paper, clear, uh, this is called Magic Covers, what they call it. Dollar Tree, it comes in a pretty big size roll. Um, and I just cut off a little piece so we can get this transferred. This is my favorite transfer tape. It's a dollar. I love it more than any of the rest. It works amazing. And what's nice with this glitter uh, vinyl that I was talking about from Expressions, you don't have to have a special kind of um, transfer paper because it just picks it up like regular. So what I'm going to do is I want to put this down first and then we'll put the R so that way I can make sure everything's centered up correctly. So I'm just going to figure out exactly how I want to do this, if I want to kind of go from the side or what I want to do. I kind of think I want to do something like this is what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'll do. So what I'm going to do is just cut this down to about where I need it. All right. I'm gonna, well, I'm going to leave that set in there. All right, so we're gonna take our transfer, I just threw that. I'm gonna take my transfer paper here and get this picked up. Now, if the Dollar Tree is out, you can still get this stuff at like Walmart and Kmart, which comes in a way huge roll. Hobby Lobby, you can use a 40% off uh, coupon. Or even uh, Michael's. Michael's, you can use a 60% off coupon. So Hobby Lobby, you can use 40%. Michael's, sometimes they have those 60% off, and you can snag a huge roll of this contact paper. But uh, Lowe's even carries it. I'm sure Home Depot. So there's several people that carry this. But the Dollar Tree, it's only a dollar. But I did do, like, it is still a good deal, I think, if you purchased it like that from Hobby Lobby or Michael's or somewhere, because I did do the square footage one day, and it was going to be right. So... We're just gonna get this. So see how easy that picks that up on the contact paper? Love, love, love this stuff. All right, so now I'm just gonna make sure that I've got this all lined up nice. 
So I'm just gonna carefully get this down, just trying to keep it all lined up. I'm gonna kinda set it on here. I feel like I need to come over to the right just a little bit. Oop. Maybe kinda do this. All right, that looks good to me. So I'm gonna just kind of pop this down. This would be good too if, I was trying to find the smaller tiles so I could show you guys for coasters, but um, I could not find the smaller tiles at our Lowe's. I don't know what the deal was with that or if I was just not looking right. But anyways, um, I was thinking this would be an awesome, awesome idea for coasters. So all I'm doing right now is just varnishing this on here really good. This is my favorite Cricut uh, scraper. The big one, you guys have heard me talk about it a lot. The biggest one, that's the one I use all the time. All right, so once I get that on there varnished really good, I'm just going to, I kind of grab it and pull it over this way, and you'll see that it releases it very good, except for I have an A. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna continue to pull this. Okay, we got another letter there. And you can reuse this over and over again. Just in case you didn't already know that, put that put this back on its backing, and you can reuse this like tons and tons of times, all right? And I feel like, to me, like this one works the best. It don't like really scratch up the front of it or anything, so I'm gonna put that back down. So that's what that's looking like, super cute, love it. All right, now we're gonna put that R. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my contact paper again, which I just put that on there, but I'm gonna use this smaller piece here. So I'm just gonna cut me a smaller piece just like that. I'm gonna go and get it. And like I said, this is that glitter paper from Expression, so you don't have to have anything fancy. It's just built into it. Um, I'll try to look it up and have this exact one linked down below just so you guys kind of know which one you're looking for. So I'm not too sure right now what it's called. So just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub this down. All right, pick it up just like that. And you see how nice and you can see that that's glittery. All right, now I'm gonna carefully just kind of try to center this as best as I possibly can. Let's see. I'm gonna look at it for a second here. I think that looks good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just varnish that down. Oop, I bumped my letters, don't do that. All right, just gonna lay that back down. Yeah, be mindful for your other letters laying around. Okay, learn from my mistakes. So just kind of, that's where sometimes I guess this thing is kind of big, just kind of making sure, but I love it. It's just, the feel of it is amazing. Okay, so now we're just gonna peel this off and we're all done. So I just kind of pull like this. And you don't need to seal this with anything. This will last a long, long time. It's not going to, you know, move on you or anything like that. But if you wanted to, you could always go over it with like a, um, like Maj Paj or something like that if you wanted to. But you do not need to seal over this. But look at how cute that is for a housewarming gift. I think that's really adorable to set on her kitchen counter, um, in her bathroom, on the sink. I just think it's super cute. So I'm super excited that Cricut has finally brought in the Curve Text. I think it was so easy to use. Um, give me your thoughts on that down below, what you guys think about the Curve Text. A uh, huge shout out to the design team for doing this. Um, and like I said, I just love the ease of using it. So um, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.